Off turn number four. Green flag out. Oh, the 143. Our 143 having some problems. Went all the way from the pole straight to the back. Not sure what's going on there. As Cody Smith out of Kaufman, Texas, and at 25C, no problems there. He's out in front. Cody Smith missing a great race. He's way out there in front. It's Steven Ashcraft now all alone in second. Here comes the 44 BJ of Brent Jones down on the inside, picking up the third spot. Here comes Scott Prather in that number 22 up to fourth. Fifth, the 43 B, Billy Briarton. As the 25 C, Cody Smith continues to check out on the rest of the field here in heat race number one for your Everclear Autoglass USRA Limited Modifieds. Oh! Oh, watch out! Prather hard into the wall on the 44 BJ. I saw that one coming. They were on top of each other coming off turn number four as caution is on the speedway. Four laps down, two to go here in heat race number one. Opening heat race here tonight at Devil's Bowl. Off turn number four down the front straight away. White flag in the air. Checkered flag. Your winner, the 25C, Cody Smith. Second spot going to the 56 of Steven Ashcraft. Third, going to be the 43B of Billy Briarton. Fourth, the 19 of Jeff McGibney. That's the way they finish up heat race number one for your Everclear Autoglass USRA Limited Mods with a call of heat race number two. Here's Smoking Joe. They can't start until they get somewhere over here in turn four. Well, Wes ain't liking that one. That one ain't going to fly. It's not turn three and a half. All right, that was a non-start. They're not supposed to start till they get to four. Franklin jumped a little bit. This one looks a lot better, so it's green. That flag is waving, it's time to go. Well, Franklin out front, diving into turn one. Here comes Josh Graham on the inside, trying to make a move underneath the 48 of Murrow. That's the 15 of Graham moving into second. Murrow back to third, the five car of Brandon Williams. In that forward position, trying to get a hold of it. Ricky Haney in the 99H and Stephen Darren Fretz in the 14F bringing up the back right now. Out front to 99 of Daryl Franklin, 99D. Josh Graham, Stephen Murrow, Brandon Williams. Ricky Haney and Darren Fretz. Josh Graham trying to make a move coming up. Pulled up about two car lengths. On the 99 of Franklin, Graham coming in deeper there, and look at Brandon Williams in that five car driving in on the 48 of Murrow. Doesn't seem like Josh Graham is able to pull up on the 99D of Daryl Franklin. 
gets in good there, but he just can't hold on to it. Your leader now with four laps down, 99D of Darrell Franklin. Josh Graham in the 15 is currently in second. The 48 of Stephen Murrow in third. The five of Brandon Williams in fourth. Brandon pulling up on Murrow. Murrow says, hang on. Oh, Murrow got a little push. White flag coming out for Daryl Franklin. That means Brandon Williams move into that third position. Relegating the 48 of Murrow to fourth. Down the back straightaway. Into turn three. He's looking at the checkered flag this time. Your winner of the second heat race in the Everclear Limited Modified to 99D of Daryl Franklin. Second going to the 15 of Josh Graham. Third to the five of Brandon Williams. Fourth to the 48 of Stephen Murrow. Fifth to the 99H of Ricky Haney. And Darren Fretz in the 14F bringing up the rear. I'm going to turn it back over to my good friend, Pete the Fast Greek Heronis. Green flag in the air. Matt Goswick in that number 67. Jumps to the point, coming off turn number two, down the back straightaway. Second spot, Frank Hoslinger in that number 27H. Woo, getting a little wide over here. The seven car of Chad Williams getting a little wide. Wally Beatty in that number 75, running in third. Once again, we got another one. We got Matt Goswick checking out on this one, missing a great race for second spot as Wally Beatty now in the number 75 picks up the second spot, coming off turn number two down the back straightaway. Frank Hossinger now goes to third. And the B1 of Jason Bolden in fourth. Oh, watch out, Chad Williams. Slow down the front straightaway. We'll see if he can make it back to the pit area as Matt Goswick does not want to see a caution. He's got about a straightaway lead on the rest of the field. Wally Beatty running in second on the outside. Now the number one car. Jason Bolden, the B1, up to third, trying to reel in the 75 of Wally Beatty. Frank Hossinger in that 27H continues to run in fourth. White flag in the air one more time around for the 67 of Matt Gosling. Down the back straightaway into turn number three. Looking smooth. Off turn number four. Your winner, the number 67 of Matt Gosling. Second spot going to the 75 of Wally Beatty. Third, the B1 of Jason Bolden. And fourth, the 51P of Ryan Perrier. That's the way they finish up. Heat race number three, fourth and final heat race. Up next with Smoking Joe. We got 32 of these cars here tonight. Green flag's out, it's time to go racing. Kirkendall in the 33 moves out to the front. Joe Contents right there along with Chase Raymond. Oh. Dawson Graham's in the, Grimes in the 11G having a problem. Looks like Chase Raymond is bringing that number one up to the number one position. He ain't quite there yet. Pepper Kirkendall says, I, I'm hanging on. Chase is on the inside, Kirkendall on the outside. Inside's gonna pull away. Taking over the lead down the back straight away. It's the one of Chase Raymond. As they come down the front straight away, it's the one of Chase Raymond. The 33 of Kirkendall, the 17 of Content, the 11 of Latrell. The 19 of McGivney, the 12 of Matt Reed.
Race for second place between the 17 of Content and the 33 of Kirkendall. Oh, Richard McGivney having a problem, seeing what the deal is. I noticed uh, his boy, Jeff McGivney, he's off the speedway. He's going to try and get clear. Let us finish the race. Two laps to go for the one car of Chase Raymond. Content in second. Latrell in third. Kirkendall in fourth. Looks like the 12 car of Matt Reed has pulled off the speedway also. So that's 19R 19 19 R off and the 12 off. White flag out. Richard McGivney trying to get his car out of the way. And there he goes. He's clear. He'll be able to get it in. All right, Chase Raymond has opened up about a straightaway lead, lead here. Checkered flag coming out for the one of Chase Raymond. Second is going to go to the 11 of Latrell. Third to the 17 of Joe Content. Fourth to the 33 of Kirkendall. Fifth to the 11G of Dawson Grimes. And bringing up the rear, it's the 10S of Justin Simpson. Three wide for the lead going into turn number one. The 23 of Don Jensen taking over the lead. Down the back straight away. Robert Thomas in the 22 T falls to second. The 6 M Jeff Jones runs in third. Off turn number four down the front straight away. Once again, the 23 of Jensen leads. The 22T of Robert Thomas running in second. Ah, oh, gives the 22T, Jeff Jones and that six M's give the 22T a little shove. Now the six M going to the outside of the 22T. Coming off turn number four down the front straightaway, two laps to go for the 23 of Don Jensen. Second on back, great race. Jeff Jones in the 6M. The 27D of Donnie Dunman getting into the mix. Up to third. White flag is out, white flag out. Off turn number four, checker flag, your winner, the 23, Don Jensen. Second spot going to the 6M of Jeff Jones. Third, the 27D of Donnie Dunman out of Forney. Fourth row is the 84 of Clyde Dunn Jr. out of Rockwall, Texas. Out of side of him is the 98 of Chris Davis. Bringing up the rear is Walter Hamilton. And it's green, it's time to go. new ride he's got after taking a tumble down the front straightaway about a month ago or so is out front in that new ride outside of the back straightaway taking over that second position to 123 
of Brett Jensen. All right, it's Murray, Jensen, King, Thomas, Ross. Hit three wide. Oh, Chris Davis getting a little banging going on there with, I can't tell, it must be Walter Hamilton. That's, he's always got good looking cards, that red maroon looking thing. Still leading out front, the eight car of Rick Murray. 123 of Jensen, the 77 of Ross, K13 of King. Chris Davis moving on the inside down the back straightaway. They were three wide when they got to turn three, but that's narrowed up. Oh, is that Jerry Coward in that 22 car having a little trouble there? Walker Hamilton in that 1W just in front of him and Clyde Dunn Jr. in that 84 car. Not getting near as much out of it as old Tom does. Yeah. Wide flag coming out for Rick Murray. His first night out in the new car. Jensen in second. Ross in third. Kane King in fourth. Chris Davis up to fifth. Walter Hamilton in sixth. All right. Brett Jensen is not going to catch the eight car of Rick Murray. Rick Murray coming across the checkered flag first. Then it's the 123 of Jensen, the 77 of Mark Ross, the K13 of Shane King, the 98 of Chris Davis, the 1W of Walter Hamilton, the 17T of Dustin Thomas. Then you had Jerry Cowart and Clyde Dunn Jr. bringing up the rear. Up the last row, the 22 of Gregory Muirhead out of Maybank, Texas, and outside of him, the one of Mark Johansson out of Maybank. They'll be looking at the green. It's green. It's time to go. Wendell Bolden making a move. Frank Rose on the outside, Bolden on the inside. Bolden moves into the lead. It's the 45 of Rose takes a heavy push. Oh, 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 man. Well, that didn't work out too well for either one of those guys. Wait a minute, they were both 45s. Frank Rose is in the silver black one that just came by that smacked the 45 of Michael Jackson, which is just pulling off the racetrack. So, I think, uh, I don't think Rose knows he's got a flat. All right, Bolden hanging on. He's hanging on. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's on it. Green flag's out. It's time to go racing. It's Bolden. Twenty-seven H of Dylan Glass there. Dylan Glass in second. The eighty-two, one eighty-two of Jimmy Williams in third. The forty-seven of Jack Sarton in fourth. The eighty-two X of Teskey pulling off the speedway. Just about got rear end. Out front, it's the twenty-eight B of Bolden. Then it's the twenty-seven of Glass. 82 of Jimmy Williams, 182 of Jimmy Williams, the 47 of Jack Sarton, the 2B of Billy Briarton, the 45J of Michael Jackson. And Mark Johansson in the one, bringing up the back right now. Man, this track is fast, it's heavy, and it's fast. And Bolden is showing you just how fast it is. It's Bolden, Glass, Williams, Sarton, Briarton, Jackson, and Johansson. It's like there's two laps to go.
Wendell, bold move, Bolden is stinking up the show right now. He is way out front, more than a straightaway. Your leader, the 28B of Wendell Bolden, coming into turn three, looking at turn four. Checkered flag being waved. First place going to the 28B of Wendell Bolden. Mr. Bold move himself. Second going to the 27 of Dylan Glass. It's 27H. Third going to the 182 of Jimmy Williams. Fourth to the 47 of Jack Sarton. Fifth to the 2B of Billy Briarton. Then you got the 47J of Michael Jackson and the one of Mark Johansson. Second heat in the White Horse Tuning and Dino, USRA Modified is about to move on to the Speedway and to call that race, it's my buddy here, Pete the Fast Greek, Heronis. Green flag. Oh. Little slicing and dicing going on over here in turn number two. Clyde Dunn Jr. wasting no time, taking a peek to the outside of the four car, the 477 of Tracy Adams. He's your leader down the front straightaway, Clyde Dunn Jr. Bo Day in the number four runs in second spot. Third, the 81 of Cody Simpson. The 477 of Tracy Adams in fourth. Clyde Dunn Jr. and that number 88 Triple X out in front. Bo Day trying to reel him in. Staying with it about six or seven car lengths as they come off turn number four down the front straightaway and now into turn number one. Here comes Cody Simpson down to the inside. Already won a feature here this year at Devil's Bowl Speedway to the inside. Picks up the second spot as they go into turn number three. Off turn number four, Clyde Dunn gets wide. The 81 of Cody Simpson right there, dives down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Trying to pick up some ground on the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. Down the back straight away into three. Clyde Dunn getting wide, got a little push. New leader as they get to the stripe. Cody Simpson in that 81. Out in front. Clyde Dunn Jr. goes to second. And the four car of Bo Day running in third with the skipper, Skip O'Neill, in fourth in the number eight. Two to go, two to go for Cody Simpson. Track very heavy right now at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Taking all the horsepower you can throw at it. Looking at the white flag this time, coming off turn number four, the 81 of Cody Simpson. Off turn number four down the front straightaway, your winner, the 81 car of Cody Simpson. Second spot going the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. Third's gonna be the four car, that's gonna be Bo Day. Fourth, the skipper, Skip O'Neill in that number eight. That's the way they finish up. Heat race number two for your white horse tuning and dyno, USRA Modifieds. All right, pick your number. Pick your color. Doesn't matter to me. Green flag's out. It's time to go. First heat race in the IMCA Race Saver 305 Series. Out front's the V8 of Vetter. Then you got the 18S of Smith, the 45 of Edwards, the 10G of Thomas. Then you got the 4 of Austin Monday, the 1 O of Oliver. The 114 of Lovett. And the 2S of Jeff Long. V8 
Vetter holding on to his lead. Got about a half a straightaway lead on him. Then you got Austin Smith and Martin Edwards running for that second position. Smith in the 18S, the 45 of Edwards. Smith is going high, but ain't holding on. He had some power coming off of that turn. Edwards diving hard into the turn, trying to push him up, but ain't going to work. Both of them bucking a little bit coming off. Smith is holding on. Edwards drives hard into that turn, but to no avail. As it stands right now, it's Vetter, Smith, Edwards. Thomas, Mundy, Oliver, and Long. Oh, and then <laughs> Todd Lovett. White flag coming out for the V8 of Vetter. 18S of Smith still hanging on to that second position. He has got something coming off of two there. All right, checking flag. Looking around, coming out of four. Your winner, the V8 of Robert Vetter. Second going to the 18S of Smith, third to the 45 of Martin Edwards, fourth to the 10 of Marcus Thomas, fifth to the four of Austin Monday. Then you got the 1-0 of Oliver, the two of Jeff Long, the 114 of Todd Lovett. And that finishes up the first heat in the IMCA Race Saver Sprints. I'm gonna turn it over to Pete Hironis. Looking good, looking good. Green flag in the air. Mac Mackin with the lead. Russell's shoulders right there in second. Right in his tire tracks. Coming off turn number four. Shoulders on the outside. And Mac Mackin on the inside. Oh, a little crossover. Nope. Thought better of it. Matt Mackin in the 41M out in front. Russell Shoulders now in second. Heath Nestrick in that 4X runs in third. Fourth, the number two, Kobe Stubblefield. A little bobble from the four car of Nestrick. Kobe Stubblefield dives down to the inside, picks up the third spot, coming off turn two. Stubblefield now up to third. Nestrick goes to fourth in the number 4X. And rounding out the top five, it's Zane Lawrence in that number 76. Mac Mackin continues to open up a lead on Russell's shoulders in the 11S. Colby Stubblefield now reeling in the 11S as they come off turn number two. Heath Nestrick in fourth. And Zane Lawrence rounding out the top five. White flag in the air for the 41M of McMackin. Russell's shoulders right there in second. Colby Stubblefield running in third. He's Nestrick in fourth. The money lap coming up. Off turn number four down the front straight away. Here he is. You're a winner. The 41M of Steve McMackin. Second spot going to the 11S of Russell's shoulders. Third, the two of Colby Stubblefield in fourth. The 4X of Heath Nestrick and rounding out the top five, the 76 car of Zane Lawrence. That's the way they finish up heat race number two for your IMCA race saver sprints with a call of heat race number three is a radrides.com pace truck heads out on the speed whale smoking Joe Casper. And it's out. It's Jake Brown in the double zero out front right now and he is hanging on and on it.
All right, leading the first lap, it's the double zero of Jake Brown, then the 17, Ansel Miller, the five M of Chip Graham, then the six M of Blake Mallory, then you got the 16 of Ansel Miller. No, I got that wrong. 16 of Hope, excuse me. All right, it's Brown. Etzel Miller. Graham, Mallory, Holt, Cliss, and Harner. Oh, double zero is broke. He was fast for a little while. Out front now, it's the 17 of Matt Etzelmiller. It's Etzelmiller, Mallory, Graham, Holt, Cliss, and Harner. Two laps to go, two laps to go. All right, wide flags out one more time around for the 17 of Hetzelmiller. Coming out of turn four, your winner in the 30, the IMC race there is the 17 of Mark Hetzelmiller, second going to the 6M of Blake Mallory, third to the 5H of Chip Graham, fourth to the 16P of Matthew Holt, and you got the 09 of Cliss and the 41 of Harner bringing up the rear. That is the end of that one. Looks like the next one up is the limited modified B main. Uh-oh. Getting a little sideways coming off turn number two. Ryan Purrier out in front. Jeff McGibney right there in second. Ryan Purrier out in front. With Jeff McGibney running in second. Russ Houck, the second, running in third. Here's McGivney, right on the back bumper of Ryan Perrier. Drag race into turn number one. McGivney down on the bottom side. Got to be in the top four to move on. In that fourth and final transfer spot, Russ Houck, the second, in that number 34. Oh, down to the inside, the 44 BJ of Brent Jones now up to four. Kenneth Reed at number 36 directly in front of the 44 BJ as the 51 P of Ryan Perrier continues to lead Jeff McGibney in second. McGibney in the 19 dances off turn number four. Can't do anything with a 51P. Might be able to this time. Pulls alongside. Coming off turn number two. New leader as they go down the back straightaway. Jeff McGibney. Out in front. The 51P of Ryan Perrier running in second. Kenneth Reed in third. 
caution on the speedway. Chad Williams off the track. Jeff McGibney out front. Then you got the green flag. Hot. Jeff McGibney out in front. Kenneth Reed running in second. Ryan Purrier in the 51P in third. Right now, battle for that fourth and final transfer spot. The 44BJ of Brent Jones and the 34 of Russ Houck go after it for that fourth and final transfer spot. Checkered flag. Your winner, the number 19 of Jeff McGibney. Second spot going to the 36 of Kenneth Reed. Third, the 51P of Ryan Purrier. The fourth spot goes to the 44BJ of Brent Jones. That's the way they finish up B feature number one with the call of B feature number two. Here's Smoking Joe. All right, we're looking at green. It's time to go racing. Second B in the Everclear Auto Glass Limited Modified. Haney out front, Carcandall right there. Looks like the 14F of Fritz got together with the 22 of Prather. Prather was able to take the flag, but looks like it ain't working for him. Meanwhile, coming out of turn four to complete the first lap, it's the 99.8 of Ricky Haney. Then the 33 of Kirkendall. The 11G of Dawson Grimes. And the 01 of Tough Forrester is your top four car. Top four, go to the A. Right into turn one, still hanging on to the lead. It's 99H of Haney, but Kirkendall's pulling up on him a little bit there. They'll come down the front straightaway out of turn four. Your leader still the 99H of Haney, but the 33 of Kirkendall is closing slowly but surely. In third place, it's the 11 of Dawson Grimes. And you got the 01 of Tough Forrester. Holding on to that fourth position, Matt Reed has moved up to fifth. He wants to make the A at least so he can race against his brother. Oh, pass for the lead down the back straightaway. The 33 of Kirkendall on the inside. The 99H of Haney trying to hold hard on the top side. Little bit of a push. Looks like Kirkendall is able to hold on to that lead. They'll have two laps to go this time around. Kirkendall is pulling away from the 99H of Haney. Haney drives in hard. Kirkendall gets a little push, but he's still out front. Two laps to go when the 33 of Kirkendall comes down the front straight away. Haney is hanging on to second. The 11G of Grimes in third. The 01 of Tough Forrester in fourth. And we go yellow for the 14F of Darren Fritz. Green lights out for Kirkendall and he stomps on the Grimes. On the outside, trying to take over that second from the 99H of Ricky Haney. All right, it's 33 of Kirkendall out front. Then you got Haney and Grimes. Then you got Matt Reed moving into that fourth position. He, oh, got a little loose for him. Dropped back to field. White flags out. Down the back straight away. It's follow the leader into turn three. Your leader being the 33 of Pepper Kirkendall. Checkered flag coming out to the 33 of Kirkendall. Second going to the 99 of H of Ricky Haney. Third to the 11D of Dawson Grimes. 
four goes to the 01 of Tough Forrester. What a great name for a race car driver. Tough Forrester. Those top four will go to the A. The wheels up. Joe Content on the outside. Daryl Franklin. And then 99D on the inside. Oh, three wide down the back straightaway. Matt Goswick, I mean, shot out of a cannon. And that's 67 to the lead. Wow. Spending some time on that dyno over there at Wide Horse Tuning and Dyno. The number 67, Matt Goswick out in front. Second spot going to the number one, Chase Raymond. Joe Content runs in third. Brandon Williams in that number five runs in fourth. Williams now takes a peek to the inside of Content. Slides back into that fourth spot. Problems for the 11G right here on the front straightaway. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. The 11G of Dawson Grimes out of Siegelville coming to a stop up here at the top of turn number one. Lights out. Looking for the green flag. 13 to go. We're under green. Oh, ho. Oh. Couple of cars getting a little sideways over here in turn number one. Getting a little crazy towards the back of the field. But Goswick out in front. Chase Raymond right there in second spot. Brandon Williams now up to third. Fourth to 15 to Josh Graham. Joe Content in the 17, rounds out the top five. Six spot the 25C, Cody Smith. Smith now going to the outside of the 17, clears him, coming off turn number four. He makes it look easy, coming off turn number four, down the front straightaway. Goswick still out in front, but not able to shake the number one of Chase Raymond. Now up to fourth, the 25C, Cody Smith. Brandon Williams directly in front of the 25C as it's a race for the lead, coming off turn number four. Goswick out in front, Chase Raymond right there in the number one. Raymond goes to the top. Goswick stays in the middle. Nose to tail to come off turn number two down the back straightaway. Chase Raymond using the outside. Can he get a little bite up there on the top side? Not this time. Still Goswick out in front. Oh, they touch down the front straightaway. Matt Goswick out in front. Chase Raymond trying to get by him. Nothing doing. There's Goswick out in front. Now starting to open up about a five-car length advantage. Problems maybe for the number one. Slowing down Chase Raymond with a problem. As the 25C has jumped up to second of Cody Smith. The one car stays off the track. Clears the racetrack, gets behind the wall, we stay green. Goswick continues to lead. Cody Smith in second, Brandon Williams in third. Josh Graham in fourth, Joe Content rounding out the top five. Matt Goswick with about a 15 car length advantage over the 25C of Cody Smith with Brandon Williams running in third in that number five car. Josh Graham continues to run in fourth and Joe Content in the 17 rounding out the top five. 
Six bought the 11 of Eric Luttrell. Seventh the 56, Stephen Ashcraft. The B1 at Justin Bolden. Jason Bolden off the track. Jason Bolden in the B1 off the track. The gap closing down, but not fast enough. Two laps to go, two laps to go for the 67 of Goswick. Little lap traffic might play a part in this one before it's all over with. Goswick heads into three now, coming off turn number four. White flag in the air. The 01 pulls it to the inside. Leader gets by. The 25C gets by. White flag in the air this time. This is the money lap for the 67 of Matt Goswick. Cody Smith giving chase. Checkered flag. Your winner, the 67W, Matt Goswick. Second spot, the 25C, Cody Smith. Brandon Williams, that number five, comes home in third with Josh Graham in the 15 and fourth. And Joe Content in the 17, rounding out the top five. Here he is, Devil's Bowl Speedway, coming off turn number four. Your winner, the 67W of Matt Goswick. Again, Cody Smith in the 25C finished the second. Brandon Williams in the 5 third. Josh Graham in the 15 fourth. And Joe Content in the 17, rounding out the top five. Six, Eric Luttrell in the 11. Seventh, Wally Beatty in the 75. Eight, Stephen Ashcraft in the number 56. That's the way they finish up unofficially here tonight at Devil's Bowl Speedway in the Everclear Autoglass USRA Limited Modifieds. USRA factory stocks next up. 22T of Thomas and the 6 Emma Jones, your front row. We'll see what happens. You got your number, got your color. Come on. And it's green flag. It's time to go. Robert Thomas says, let's go. In that 22T. Twenty-two T of Robert Thomas out front, but Shane King in that K thirteen is passing him on the outside, getting into the turn. The old man trying to hold on with that twenty-two T. He's gonna race him. It's a one twenty-three of Brett Jensen on the inside. Oh, oh man, we almost got one of the Jensens over on his head. Is that the 23, I guess, would be Don Jensen, and he's sitting up there. Looks like we're going to go yellow right here, folks. Going to go yellow. Got the 23 of Don Jensen sitting up on the top of the hill. Don from Terrell, not far from here. Probably got a little rain today. Then you got Robert Thomas and Shane King pounding on Jensen's rear bumper. The green flag is waving. It's time to go racing again. Oh, we got one that don't want to go. Oster. Jeff Oster, he can't get it going. Something is wrong. Need a push truck on the front straightaway. And what's this guy down here by the tire in turn one? Does anybody know what's going on with that guy? What's the number on that car? Is that a 23 or a 123? No, 123 is on the lead. Hey, he can't get out. Well, I guess we got to bring out the D&W Wrecker Service. Wrecker, something broke on that car. He says, I'm done. All right, now we're looking at it. Keep your eye on that green rag in Wes's hand. He's waving it. It's time to go racing for the factory stock. Hey, Amen. we're at it again.
Brent Jensen way out front. Three wide down the back straightaway. It's Hamilton. Murray. And I can't even tell who that one is. Let me see. Oh, it's Chris Davis. They single filed out now. You got the 125 of Dakota Reigns in the middle of that deal. He's coming up underneath the eight car of Rick Murray. Meanwhile, out front, three wide into turn three. It's Reigns, right? Reigns, Davis, and the 6M. I mean, the eight of Rick Murray. They was in a race. Now it's Davis. Whoa, out front, it's Jensen. Then it's Shane King in second. Then you got Rick Murray in the eight car in third. Then Walter Hamilton in that one W in fourth. In fifth right now, it's the 98 of Chris Davis. Then you got the 125 of Dakota Reigns. Clyde Dunn Jr. in that 84 car is up to seventh. All right, your leader still, the 123 of Brett. Hard race between the eight car and the one W of Walter Hamilton. That race is for third place. Looks like Walter Hamilton's gonna pull it off. Here comes the 98 of Chris Davis underneath to try and take that fourth position away from Rick Murray, which he just got relegated to. Now it's side by side down the front straightaway between the 98 and the eight. 98 of Davis on the inside, the eight of Murray on the outside. Walter Hamilton in that one W right in front of him. Shane King in the K-13 running in second. Hamilton trying to move around to the outside. He's gonna go to the top, see if he can do it. If he's got the speed, he'll get it going into the turn. Up on the top side, it's Hamilton trying to take second away from the K-13 of Shane King. Well, that fourth position right now is the 98 of Chris Davis, and you got the eight of Rick Murray. Leading lap sevens, the 123 of Brett Jensen, and you got Walter Hamilton and Shane King. They were like in a dead heat when they come across the line. We'll see if Hamilton can hang on Get around the outside, watch him drive in hard on the top side, see if he can get it this time. Meanwhile, your leader, the 123 of Brett Jensen, Hamilton holding just a little bit of a lead when they come across the transponder line. As it stands right now, it's Brett Jensen, Walter Hamilton, Shane King, Chris Davis, Rick Murray, Dakota Reigns, Clyde Dunn Jr. Twenty seven. Donnie Dunn. All right, what? Oh, yellow for the 22 of Jerry Coward. We're going to have to go green, white, checker for this one because that was a white flag lap. They'll back up one. So that'll give them a green, white, checker. Clyde Dunn, Jr. And here we go. That rag is waving. The green flag is out. Jensen trying to take, hang on to that lead he's got. Now look at Chris Davis in the 98, moving underneath the one W of Walter Hamilton. Walter Hamilton is usually very fast and it is hard. Oh, a little bit of rut down there in the middle of one and two. Oh, oh, Clyde, Clyde. Clyde says, Dad, gummy. Something is going on. Something broke. Oh, did he get hit? Well, he's pulling off in the 84 of Clyde. Oh, left front flat. That's what it is. Out front, it's a race for the lead. Look here, Walter Hamilton. He's got the checkered flag. The one W of Walter Hamilton in first. The 123 of Brett Jensen in second. 
The 98 of Chris Davis in third, and the 12 or 125 of Dakota Reigns in fourth. Again, remember, none of this is official till they get to the pay window. And, buddy, let me tell you, those guys was close when they got across the line. Woo! Gregory Muirhead in the 17 of Jason Sarton. Here we go, off turn four. Cody Simpson off the track, won the heat race in the number 81, now all the way at the back of the field. Whoa, watch out, two, three wide. Track getting a little ruddy over here in turn four. Wendell Bolden out in front. Clyde Dunn Jr. running in second. Tracy Adams in the 477 runs in third. Fourth, the number eight, the skipper, Skip O'Neill. So the track getting a little bit rough down here in turn three and four. Three wide coming off two is Bo Day. In the number four, trying to pick up the third spot from the eight of Skip O'Neill. He's got it. Wendell Bolden, now with about a six car length advantage over the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. The 47 of Jack Sarton runs in third. Skip O'Neill in eight, fourth. Jody May in the 27, caution on the speedway, caution. Oh, right here at the bottom of turn number four. Sean Gamage in that number 88 car. Four laps in the book. 11 to go. Wendell Bolden out in front. Clyde Dunn Jr. right there in second. Oh, it's getting a little dicey off turn number four. Jack Sarton on the outside in that number 47 trying to get up to that second spot. Oh, going for the lead on the outside. Three wide coming off turn number two. Clyde Dunn Jr. gets the best of that. New leader as they go into here into three and into four. Jack Sarton now in second. Wendell Bolden running in third. And the 182 of Jimmy Williams running in fourth. Cody Simpson all the way from the back. Remember on that opening lap, he had a problem up to fifth. Trying to figure out where the fast groove is, Wendell Bolden. Loses a couple of more spots as the 81 of Cody Simpson now up to four. Oh, oh. Four seventy seven off the top side of the racetrack. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Debris over here in turn number four. Lights out, looking for the green flag start. Green, green, green. Move back away from the fence, move back away from the fence. Clyde Dunn Jr. continues to lead. Jimmy Williams, that 182, runs in second. The 81 call of Cody Simpson. Now up to second, making a strong move on the outside. Now sets his sights on the leader as they go down the front straightaway.
Clyde Dunn Jr. dives down the bottom side of the racetrack. Continues to lead coming off turn number four. Cody Simpson runs in second. Jimmy Williams runs in third. Jack Sarton in the 47 in fourth. Rounding out the top five, the number four, Bo Day. As the laps winding down here in the feature event. Four, the White Horse Tuning and Dino, USRA Modifieds. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Here in the feature. Clyde Dunn Jr. will be looking at the white flag this time. White flag in the air. Clyde Dunn Jr. down the back straight away. Into turn number three. Now coming off turn number four down the front straight away. Checkered flag in the air. Your winner, the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. Second spot going to the 81 of Cody Simpson. Third, the 182 of Jimmy Williams. Fourth, the 47 of Jack Sarton. And rounding out the top five, the four of Bo Day. Here he is, Devil's Bowl Speedway. Your winner tonight, the 88 Triple X of Clyde Dunn Jr. Four in a row for him here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. They'll be looking for that turn four green flag, green light. It's time to go racing. Into the front turn, into turn one. It's the 41 of McMacken. Pulled out to about a five car length lead over the 18S of Austin Smith. Leading the first lap, the 41 of McMacken, the 18S of Austin Smith, the 11S of Russell Shoulders, the B8 of Robert Vetter, the 16P of Matthew Holt, the 45 of Martin Edwards, your top six. Oh, watch that rut down there, folks. There is racing all the way around this racetrack. Keep your eyes peeled. Out front is the 41 of Steve McMacken. Second's the 18S of Austin Smith. Third is the 11S of Russell Shoulders. But you got a hard charging V8 of Robert Vetter in fourth, trying to take over that third position. Then you got Matthew Holt to the 16P. Oh, 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 bad, bad, bad. That looked to be the 45 car of Martin Edwards. It'll be the four car of Heath Nestrick. Marcus Thomas is up there. Everybody stop. Fire, our fire crew is there. They will get that out. Devil's Bowl safety crew on the. All right. Good news. Driver is okay. Wow. 2S of Kobe Stubblefield, the 10G of Marcus Thomas, the 76 of Zane Lawrence, the 4 of Austin Mundy, and we're green. It's time to go racing. And they all missed the cone. Austin Mundy making a charge down the back straightaway. Dives in front of the 10 of Marcus Thomas. Coming down underneath, out front. Russell Shoulders, the old man, taking the lead. It's Shoulders, Smith, Vetter, Stubblefield, Edsel Miller, Mundy. And looks like we got another one up here on the hill. 
Looks to be the 63 car of David Burke out of Arlington, Texas, parked up there on the top side of turn two. Anybody that passes before the cone, they go to the back. So here we go, West giving him the once over. He's looking at him. He's waiting for Russell to hit it, and it's green flag time to go. up on the top side. As it stands right now, it's the 11S of Russell Shoulders out front, then the 18S of Austin Smith in second, the V8 of Robert Vetter in third, the four of Austin Mundy in fourth, the 76 of Zane Lawrence in fifth, Matthew Holt in sixth and the 16P. You got Stubblefield, Blake Mallory, Marcus Thomas. Russell Shoulder still hanging on to that lead. He's only got 12 more laps to go. Russell Shoulders still out front. Austin Smith, veteran Austin Monday in the four car, trying to get around his teammate there in Vetter, but unable to do so. And there is racing all over the place. Austin Smith diving underneath the 114 of Todd Lovett. Oh, oh, somebody get that guy off the racetrack. Holy cow, the 114. He needs to get off. Your leader still, oh, 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 Austin Smith in the 18S off the top side. Stop the cars now. Man. 18S of Austin Smith went over. Looks like he is back on his wheels. He's good. All right. Driver is okay. He is out of the car. Everything is good. That was your second place car. All right. Here we go, looking, waiting for that green flag to wave. Lights on, it's time to go. Russell Shoulders in that 11S, hanging on to that lead. Robert Vetter in the V8 in second, the four car of Austin Mundy in third, the 76 of Zane Lawrence in fourth. Marcus Thomas in the 10G, and oh, Austin Mundy passed two cars to take the lead. He passed the 11S and the V8 of Vetter to take over that number one position out front, your new leader of the four car of Austin Mundy. Second right now is the 11S of Russell Shoulders. Third, the V8 of Vetter. Fourth, the 76 of St. Lawrence. Fifth, the 10G of Marcus Thomas. Sixth, the 2S of Kobe Stubblefield, then you got the 6M of Blake Mallory. Heath Nestry caught that rut down there and jumped about four cars sideways. Meanwhile, Austin Mundy is just pulling away. The four car of Mundy, the 11S of Shoulders, the V8 of Better. The 76 of Lawrence, the 10G of Marcus Thomas, the 2S of Stubblefield, the 6M of Mallory. The 82 of Joshua Harna. Oh, looks like Marcus Thomas got way high. Two laps to go for the four car of Austin Monday. 
two laps to go. White flag out for Austin Monday. All right, coming out of turn four, looking at the checkered flag, it's gonna be the four car of Austin Monday. Second, going to the 11 ass of Russell Shoulders. Third to the V8 of Better. Fourth to the 76 of Lawrence. Fifth to the two of Stubblefield. Sixth to the six M of Mallory. Seventh to the 10 G of Marcus Thomas. Eighth to the 82 of Joshua Harner. Ninth to the four X of Nestrick. And that's all I'm gonna do, remember, Nothing's official until the guys get to the pay window. We're in victory lane tonight with our Everclear Auto Glass USRA Limited Modified feature winner. Matt Goswick brings it home in the top spot and uh, literally right from the throw of the green flag, it looked like you were shot out of a cannon. Yeah. yeah, I tried. I knew if I could get up top there in three and four, it was a little smoother than down there at the bottom. So I just tried to hit my marks and, and try to get out front early. So did the ruts play a part in that? Oh yeah, yeah, they did, they did. It was, uh, it got a little rough there towards the end, but I just kind of, I tried to maintain and just hold my line. Well, could you feel any, pr actually you kind of checked out on the rest of the field. Oh really, I, I don't know. I, I thought I heard somebody there for a little while, but I just, I told myself I just hold my line and I, I should be all right. Well, congratulations on your win and who are the sponsors who brought you to Victory Lane? Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Mike and Pam with White Horse uh, for the opportunity to drive for them. Uh, super great people. Um, just everybody from my wife, my son, my friends that helped me in the shop at night, just all the way around, just a team effort. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. That's Matt Goswick, driver of the number 67 Everclear Auto Glass USRA Limited Modified feature winner tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. We're in victory lane tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway with our USRA factory stock feature winner, Walter Hamilton, and he waited till late in the race to get there, but he got there. He had a little bit of work to do tonight. Yeah, uh, track was definitely fast, had a lot of character to it, and I had a lot of positions to move to get where I was going. And you did? Yeah, it was, uh, man, I wasn't going to get it until that caution came out with two to go, but that, that was a game changer, so worked out. Tell, tell us a little about the pass. Uh, man, it was, I knew, I, if the caution one came out, I wasn't going to get him. I knew that. He, he had it in the bag. When the caution came out, I was like thinking, all right, where can I get him at? And where is he going to? And I just like, let me stay close enough to realize where he is going to maybe misjudge the track. And uh, he didn't misjudge it. We went, we was a drag race down that back straightaway. And I, I was door to door with him. And uh, I was like, all right, now lift, lift. You're on the bottom, you're lift. And he, he, he waited until the last minute. And I waited about two seconds after that. And I just already had it motioned towards the checkered. And, Got him by Fender, maybe. Yep. Well, you brought it home in the top spot. And who are the sponsors who help you out? Uh, man, this is a this is a new car. This is a uh, Sniper Speed. I gotta thank GW Egbert, Jeffrey, uh, Smiley's Racing, Paul Peters, uh, Texas Auto Sales, RCJ Racing. Uh, my uncle, he he's always over there helping me turn wrenches on it. Cheater. Uh, just a lot of good people. I got a lot of good people. A lot of good help always with my racing equipment. Well, congratulations on the win here tonight. Thank you. all That's Walter Hamilton, your USRA factory stock feature winner tonight here at Devil's Bowl. We're in victory lane with our sprint car feature winner tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Austin Mundy, you bring it home in the top slot tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit about that pass on that restart. You know, man, it was just, it's been rough all night. You know, the, they got the track and uh, to get us to race tonight, you know, we had to probably make, you know, the, we knew the racetrack getting here was probably going to be soft and rough and, I knew that Russell, if he could ever get out into clean air, was not good because Russell's really good in clean air. And so I just, when I got to the outside of Robert, I was like, you know, I, I, right now if I got a shot, it's right here. And when I went into one, Russell just kind of lifted and hesitated and announced. And I was like, there's my hole, plug it. <laughs> and so I plugged it in. And, and like I said, but it really is a testament to how good my guys are. They, the car just drove so good in the, in the rough stuff. And I mean, it, you know, a lot of guys are tired, and, you know, I could go 100 laps like that with it as, as loose as they gave it. Going to get back in and go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 
Well, uh, speaking of, uh, we got the 50 lap, the Firecracker 50 coming up in a couple of weeks out here. But uh, tonight, I mean, you start a seventh throw inside in the 13th spot. Right, yeah. I'm, you know, the, the thing is, is there's so many good cars here. And, you know, Marcus is always fast. And, and, and it's so hard starting that far back. But, you know, we got a couple lucky. It's not lucky when people tear up cars. But the Reds kind of helped us tonight, kind of progress up through the field. We got a couple good restarts. But, you know, like I say, man, it's just hard to win these things you know some guys make it look easy and but it really is hard to win these races you know and we're just I'm just happy to be here and my, my crew gives me such a good car every week and we're ready for the 50 lapper I mean I'm I'm ready to go we ran second here last year that race and I, I'm I, we really want the trophy <laughs> and who are the sponsors who brought you to victory lane tonight precision reaper graphics is our number one supporter Shane and Sherry Thompson they're around here somewhere uh, if it wasn't for them I'd be up there watching with you guys I, I couldn't do it without them and uh, Tim Young with Irrational Metalworks, man, I mean, he, he could put windshield wipers on a goat's butt. I mean, that guy's so talented with what he does. And uh, Ronnie Long is my stepdad, and he's behind the wrenches. My Uncle Larry, local legend. I mean, I got him in my, in my corner, and I got Ronnie. And, I mean, Don Russaw, I mean, uh, my wife, Taylor Young. I mean, everybody on this team, it's just it's amazing driving these cars. Well, congratulations on your win. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's Austin Mundy, your sprint car feature winner tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. That does it for a great night of racing here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Visiting the Platinum Collision Victory Lane tonight, of course, in the uh, sprint car class. It was Austin Mundy bringing it home in the top slot. In your Everclear Auto Glass USRA Limited Modified class, it was, of course, Matt Goswick in the number 67 who brings it home in the top slot. In your White Horse Tuning and Dyno, USRA modifies. It was Clyde Dunn Jr., but he didn't make it to Victory Lane once again, but that makes it four in a row for him here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. And in your USRA factory stocks tonight, of course, it was the 1M car bringing it home in the uh, top slot, of course, Walter Hamilton. So that does it for a great week of racing out here, and we'll be back with the weekly championship racing series next week right here at Devil's Bowl Speedway.